Yeah, when you had a chance. You're going to go in the window, Mom. Two days that you've been blessed with your last few days. I'd like to see you. I need this first and foremost. I need to open. I need vacuum. I don't want to disturb you. You just go do your thing. Julia, you were talking with Chris uh, in the last couple of days about have you been genuinely concerned for, for obvious reasons, Chad, about Ted over the last few years. Lucy, you you had your son what are you going to do next? Was he what you were expecting to see? Yes, I mean, he would be overjoyed with all of this. And I said, is this the same? My little son, prodigal son. Is Go in the window, Lucy. Lucy, Ted, there are a lot of people that are, that are so... Go in the window, the window Lucy. Happy and joyful for you that you had these opportunities. Um, your mom was obviously very happy, but you know, Julie, we talked. There's also some skepticism, not only from mom, but from other people out there. How do you prove to mom and to the people out there that, you know what, you're on the right path right now, and you're not going to go back to the way things were? It's okay. What's different now is what my mom has instilled in me is to always keep God first, first and foremost. And that's what's different uh, now than before. The last time I didn't mention God, I never thank him for anything, you know. And this time around, well, nothing will be taken for granted. I think if I keep the focus on, 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 on keeping the sight, on keeping an ongoing relationship with God, then I'll be all right. I think I'll be all right. So you're not concerned your stepdaughter's come out and said, you know, we're actually worried this could be a math thing. Oh, here comes Lucy, Ricky. You're going to put something down the wrong path again. That's how it's going. So you can go into the, the window. Uh -huh. She didn't go into the window if she wanted to. That's what she said because she is not a great devil.